So I would say the movie was definitely a part of why I wanted to join the Navy specifically. I think that is commonly misconstrued with the Navy and Top Gun. People assume an Air Force, you know, and they don't realize that the Navy has fighter airplanes. The movie was a big impact on me wanting to join the Navy and also having my father being a fighter pilot. The, the quote, we're not in the business of good enough, I mean, that comes from the original days of Top Gun when it was founded. So the school is based on the ALT report, which identified various factors leading to an unacceptable kill to loss ratio in Vietnam. And so the Top Gun school was founded in order to teach the appropriate way to fight the aircraft and understand our weapon systems and the, the aircraft systems themselves and tactics better. And then once the school was founded, we saw a dramatic increase in the kill to loss ratio from Navy and Marine Corps fighter aircrew. We have developed through 52 years of execution, and while the tactics and aircraft have changed, the one aspect that has remained constant, and that is the relentless pursuit of perfection in aerial combat. Through 13 weeks in the Top Gun course, we instill that mindset on the students, and I think that is the one aspect that they take away, is that daily commitment to be the best that they can be in their platform and in the service as a leader in the Navy. The biggest myth is that everyone here is cocky, uptight, they think they're the best ever, and that is definitely untrue. Just to dispel that myth, one of the things we put out is you have to be humble, credible, and approachable to be a good instructor, uh, or else no one's gonna want to learn from you and you won't be able to teach them. And again, that's the biggest thing that we do here is teach people how to be successful in the aircraft and to be successful in combat. And if we can't teach them, uh, they're not gonna learn from us. I think the value of Top Gun is that we're creating the current tactics that's gonna train the fleet for them to execute once they're out on deployment. The reason people find Top Gun so intriguing is they typically associate it with the best aviators in our community. So they look at them as the, the center of excellence is what we pride ourselves on. So I think people will typically think that that person's the best at what they do in their field. We only have 13 weeks. However, we want them to be the best. So we're gonna fly them day in, day out. They're gonna be briefing day in, day out. They're gonna be receiving debriefing from day in and day out. So it's a pressure cooker and that is built by design because if we apply the pressure now and they're able to handle that stress, then having, handling the stress in combat, will that be that much easier? Hey, I know my stuff. I'm not gonna tell you I know my stuff. I'm just gonna go, we're gonna go do it on the range. I'm gonna show you in the airplane and I'll show you in the classroom if we have to. And then we'll get to the debrief. I will show you how to be better in the airplane. And most importantly, my humility demands that I show you what I did wrong so I can level the playing field. As I teach you, I mean, I'm trying to get better too, so. I have to have that humble demeanor in order to, to make everybody better and, and really it's, it helps the credibility of Top Gun too. A cocky demeanor just shuts everybody down and it would be a huge disservice to the, to the school. I definitely get excitement from flying the aircraft. Even being here with the long days and the studying that we put in, what I would consider just the magic of flying and my love of flying is not diminished in any way. So I still definitely get a lot of joy out of flying every single day.